Hi everyone, welcome to the Sip and Spin. It is a bitter cold Sunday here in the Midwest and as much as I really wanted to do a live feed, technology was going to have none of that. So what I did was I just put together a quick video and I'll post it out. Hopefully the quality will be a lot better on this one. The live feed, it was incredibly pixelated and I can't even imagine what the sound was like. So. In my cup today is just a lovely cup of Fezziwig's Winter Glow Tea because it is absolutely a disgusting day. I mean, it's beautiful, it's sunny, but it's cold. So I'm drinking tea to keep me warm. The wheel that I wanted to showcase today, and the reason why I wanted to is because I've been talking a lot about different draw styles, short forward draw, short backward draw, the Great Wheel is a wonderful way to practice long draw. And when you're spinning long draw, you absolutely have to be willing to give up control. And yesterday I posted a video on really listening to your fiber and paying attention to the yarn that that fiber wants to become. It's a little bit true when working with a Great Wheel as well, because Great Wheels have a lot of personality. This Great Wheel is about 300 years old it's made, the majority of it is American chestnut. You can see some of the beautiful chestnut in the spindles on the wheel. Unfortunately, the mother of all was falling apart. It had started to deteriorate quite rapidly. And because of that, I was unable to use it. So I had a friend of mine who was also a woodworker reconfigure the mother of all, maintaining as much of the original style as possible. If I remember correctly, the original wheel had a miner's head, and then the spindle was held on with corn husks, which is a very common way to attach the spindle mechanism to the posts. Unfortunately, that doesn't give you a lot of wiggle room when you're trying to get the wheel and the drive band and all of the pieces to work together. So this works a lot better for me and I am getting a much more consistent spin with it. The nice thing with this wheel, the yarn that you get is ends up being a lovely woolen, fluffy yarn. And I'm still a control freak, so while I'm not supposed to be playing with it as I draft out, I still have a tendency to play with it as I draft out because I just can't let go. <laughs> getting better at it. And then winding on is very similar to winding on to a drop spindle. The fiber that I'm spinning today is Fin Sheep from Paradise Fibers. It's a combination of brown and white blended together.
One thing that I really like about the great wheel is if I have my step counter on, it is really a nice way to get your steps in for the day. getting a really lovely top and the yarn when I am done applying it or when I'm done spinning it and when I go back through and apply it I will end up with a lovely fluffy 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 woolen yarn which is going to be absolutely Beautiful. There's a lot of air still built in there, um, and this is going to be a lovely woolen yarn. Thanks for watching. <laughs>